My first time when I met Madasu and Dorotu was when I was preaching at their church, the Romo Adventist Church here in Melbourne. After preaching, I came out as I normally do, and people were filing out from the foyer. And all of a sudden, this couple came out, and he was just beaming. His expression on his face was one of joy and elation. And before I knew it, there was this dialogue going on between him and me and the son, and I couldn't understand anything that was being said. But I soon realized that this was the day during that sermon time when he had given his heart to Christ. <laughs> I was preaching on God's eternally large, great love, and it really spoke to him. I soon found out, too, that uh, Doratu had wanted to give her heart to Christ, and this was a day that she rejoiced in because she wanted her husband to come to faith first, and then she would follow. <laughs> The church was delightfully distracted by this ongoing testimony that emerged throughout the day. This was a, a real joy in my experience as a pastor to be able to come to a church and have this kind of an expression of faith in Christ. The family also was very happy, delighted that this was an opportunity, especially for their dad, just to see again the, the joy and delight in his voice, and it really showed me that Jesus had entered his life. Coming to their homes to study the Bible then was a real joy for me as well. It allowed me to get to know them personally, to ask questions of their faith journey. I think the thing I appreciated most though was the genuine heart that they responded with. One thing that stands out to me particularly, Madasa would often lift up his hands after I was done praying, and he would pray. What I didn't know until after he was done from the translator was that he was praying a blessing upon me, and that was really precious. You know, the day of their baptism for me as the pastor that studied with them, and spent time with them, it was an immense joy. They came in, gave me hugs, they were thrilled to be there. I could see the new life in their heart. This was a very big day for them, and I realized the shift from their previous religious experience to a faith in Christ was significant. To be able to actually get in the water and bury them in the waters of baptism and bring them up to newness of life, there's no greater joy any time in a minister's life. But for this particular couple, it was significantly meaningful to me that I was a part of their spiritual journey.